Andy and Dylan here playing one of the greatest games ever made. A.K.A. Simon and Schuster. <laughs> Simon and Schuster. Playing I Am Me, which is one of the best FPSs ever created, oh, maybe? shit. It's not religious, I can promise you that. Okay. But there is music. Oh, look what clever children see them study, watch them learn. How I hate those goody goodies. How they huh. make my stomach turn. I got a little secret that'll really make them cry. It's a nasty kind of. So this is like this is like your favorite musical, right? Shh, I'm listening. <laughs> Sorry. That was better than everything we've ever played. <laughs> so, that that gave you the whole story there. Can, can we leave it there? Because I bet the game is fucking shitty. But that was awesome. <laughs> that was pretty... I mean, I was barely paying attention. I was just, like, focusing on the fact that that was even possible back then. <laughs> that... In 18... It was 1990-what? Oh, this is 92, 93, maybe. That's, I don't know. I'm impressed. Yeah, so, like... Th That's that... probably where my impressive attitude there dies because I don't think I'm going to be impressed with the rest of this. So what you've got here is, I mean, it's an FPS. Um, you can be Scott or Katie. I feel like you're more of a Katie. I am more of a Katie. I I'm going to, so what's our reading level here? One, two, or three? One. One. Okay. Reading and play level at one. <laughs> Basically, as the story told us in that great, great intro cinematic, yep. um, we've been tr sucked into a labyrinth through a book. Okay. And uh, we need to make our way out. Go find the scrolls. That guy's here also. In the labyrinth, you must free the other children. Please don't tell the boss, or you'll turn me into a warthog. Too late, buddy. Oh, there he is. There, look at him. He looks really. Oh, no. Skeevy. He's got Here, cancer in the face. Take this crystal orb. You can use it to contact me whenever you touch a scroll. Now go before the he guardians you touch catch scroll. you. I'm not touching his scroll, dude. Didn't know he wants you to. That's just how a guy like that gets his jollies. So let's keep moving here, and basically, oh god, oh god. So basically, you're in this this thing here, and there's like these dwarves and trolls and shit that are trying to punch you and kill you. This really doesn't look terrible. Well, you haven't gotten to the part where we have to read. Where you have to do reading, reading comprehension, and not even reading comprehension as much as it is. Punching people in the face, come on. Right? Less reading comprehension in terms of, like, concepts and theories and more reading comprehension that were you able to read this? More reading comprehension in the sense of proofreading. Ah. Proofreading other people's letters and missives to each other. So you... Are they real? Is this, like, crowdsourced? Is it real? Is it cloud-based? <laughs> this, this is actually how most major corporations <laughs> do, like, do their proofing. It's a cloud-based editing solution. <laughs> editing suite. Suite via the Wolfenstein 3D engine. Uh, yep. Now, I'm trying to find one of the scrolls here to illustrate where we're supposed to- Oh, here we go. No, that's a- That almost killed me. Satan's door. So those are actually little interactive- that's... I don't know why those little three dots on his forehead pop in and out, though. Yeah, that doesn't- that makes sense. No, but it opens a little thing and you get- Shoes. Well, this is the thing Kicks. that- This is actually the first time I ever played something like this. Where you actually have an inventory you pick up. What does that what do you mean? That's, so like, that's like every Dungeon and Dragons game. But this, I mean, as a kid, this is the first time I ever played anything oh. with that kind of thing. Yeah. In like a educational kids game. Um. Oh no, it's Grimace. Nope, it's a berry. Oh, it's an Explodo fruit, which is a a one-time use like grenade weapon. Interesting. Yeah, I mean, it, there's a lot of interesting concepts in this game for a game for what it is. Blood? 
Blood. Or power potion. Which they, yeah, it's just health. I want to find one of the scrolls so I can illustrate to you what the actual, like, educational part of this game was. Um... Ah. Um... It's also got a map, as you saw. Yep. It's got a map, which is... There we go! I've put the boss's scrolls outside each cell door. So you get this. Mm -hmm. and you'll unravel this is missing magic. four commas. And now uh, for fuck's <laughs> sake. <laughs> See? Alright. This is this is where things say I've seen my new stealth sneak sneakers. I then had scientists up in level 30 make a few pairs of them for me. I think Nick's boys might have taken them. And that makes me very angry. Find them for me, Norris. There's a common missing on the other side of Norris. Might even give you a pair. I did hide a pair in level one in the lever room near the center of the level. To get them, give the criteria that open the secret door, bring me those, then find the others, the boss. You see, I actually don't see why I they're... don't feel like there are <laughs> three more commas needed. Level three, make me f make a few pairs of them for me. I think Nick's boys might have taken them. Comma? Okay, I, I mean... That seems... I, I don't think you really need it there. No, you don't, you don't need it there. I did hide a pair in level one in the lever room. Comma? Near the center of the level. level. Okay, yeah, that, yeah. Again, that doesn't feel necessary, but I could be wrong. Nope. Okay. Uh, I honestly don't know what... The comma boss? <laughs> I don't I don't know. I, 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 I mean, this is reading level level 1. I know, right? This is the first puzzle. I had the mad scientist up on level 30 make a few pairs of them for me. Find them for me. No, I mean, I honestly have no idea. Did hide a pair in level 1. Wait, is it in level 1? No, on level 1. In the lever room. Near the center of the level. I'm trying to think of you more like a weird person. I know. Like, to get them, comma. Wow! At this rate, you free all of the children before dinner what? time! I would never have done no. that. No. I would never put a comma in that spot. And then you free a child. So, every... so, this, so this taught you how to be a shit editor. <laughs> this taught me how to really overuse commas, <laughs> is what this game did. But so that's basically, this is basically what I mean. It was actually a pretty sweet game. Basically, Legend of Grimrock. <laughs> I with, mean, with some of the more fun elements taken out. Yeah, and but with some musicals added in. With some musicals added in. I want in. more of the musical shit. Does that ever happen again? I think it does. I don't know if, if there are other um if there are other musical bits. I don't remember. It's I beat this game once. It took me. There was some other puzzle I remember. Two years in a, in a college degree. <laughs> it took me two years. <laughs> College. I, once my sister started her lit major, then we were finally able to solve some <laughs> of the puzzles. There was actually, I remember one, uh, it was a comma puzzle, where I spent probably, oh, I don't know, weeks trying to figure out how my parents look at it, could not figure out where one of the commas was supposed to be. I ended up just trying before and after every single word. Well, that makes perfect sense to me, because that was not rational, the puzzle we just did. No, no. That was, because oh, that's the exit level. But, I mean, you get the basic idea of this game. Yeah. Go around. It wasn't actually terrible. No. It I'm was... surprised by how not terrible this is. I'm annoyed, slightly, yeah. that I'm not Angrier? exposed to a more terrible game. Uh, but... don't, don't worry. I'll find more terrible oh, games for you. If I have faith in anything, <laughs> it's that you'll do that. Thanks for making it to the end of our video and seeing this little end bit that we've put together. If you like what you saw and want to see more stuff like this, subscribe and like our videos and put a bunch of comments telling us what you liked about it and what kind of other stuff you'd want to see. And if you didn't like it, tell us why and subscribe anyways so that you can see if we do better next time. Thanks, bye!